ultimate unresolved mystery of human life. How and why does consciousness exist? Although some scientific literature acknowledges that the question remains open, the overwhelming consensus among neuroscientists today is that the brain alone creates conscious experience. The brain is described as a genetically programmed computer whose electrical and biochemical processes produce what we experience as thought and decision making. It's therefore no surprise that science headlines today suggest that the experience of free will is merely an illusion a byproduct of so-called background noise in the brain. In popular media, we are presented with a black and white dilemma. We must choose between reason and rationality or superstition and blind faith. However, for decades, some acclaimed scientists around the world have conducted consciousness research that provides a very different picture. The evidence these researchers present suggests that the brain alone does not produce consciousness, but rather, the source and locus of consciousness is non-material. Some proponents of this burgeoning field now refer to it as post-materialist science. One of the most remarkable of these researchers is Dr. Gary Schwartz, professor of psychology, medicine, neurology, psychiatry, and surgery at the University of Arizona and director of its laboratory for advances in consciousness and health. We asked Dr. Schwartz for his thoughts on the mystery of consciousness Beginning with the question, how did institutional science arrive at its current position that the brain alone produces conscious experience? Conventional and contemporary neuroscientists, as a general rule, all believe, in fact, they assume that the brain creates consciousness, that consciousness is a byproduct or side effect of brain function. And this is what's called the materialist perspective. It's the idea that reality is defined first and foremost in terms of matter, that it's only material things that exist. 